Hello dear students, this is the Mining Geologist and I'm back with another very exciting and informative tutorial that will show you a lot of cool techniques inside this amazing software, this free software, QGIS, and by the way it's my software of choice when it comes to cartography and mapping and GIS in general. Okay, now in this tutorial not only we are going to cover some of the tools, some of the useful tools of QJS, but we are going to apply that to something happening right now. When I say happening right now, I mean the pandemic. So I don't know when are you watching this, My, it might be in the future, but now in 2020 we are living in a pandemic and we are going to use the software QJS to create a map that shows the statistics of the uh, pandemics, uh, the COVID-19 uh, in the different countries around the world. And if you're watching this later on, it might not be very useful for you, but you can apply the same techniques that we've used today to create different maps and show different statistics. Okay, so let's dive into that. By the way, if you're not a subscriber and you're watching this video, we make, uh, you know, trainings and video tutorials related to GIS, mining, geology, hydrogeology, and every uh, geoscience field. So uh, make sure to subscribe and like this uh, video so we know that you're interested. And of course, if you ha have a suggestion, a suggestion or something that you want us to cover in the upcoming video comment that below tell us what you think and if you have a questions or whatever you want it's uh, open for you do whatever you want so let's dive into this so we have actually a few problems to solve in order in order to uh, do this so the first thing we need to think about where are we going to get the data so I've done that for you I've done some research and didn't take me too long to be honest because I know this website it's called the worldometers.info it usually it's usually showing different statistics about the population and stuff like that in different countries around the world but lately it's been known for showing the COVID-19 uh, you know statistics in the different uh, countries around the world and you can see the table right here that it is updated on a daily basis so now we found the source but we still have a problem it's a web page and we need this in a form that we can actually import inside QJS so how do we solve this first problem well you can either go and copy and paste these manually inside an Excel sheet and then import that as a CSV file I'll show you later on how are we going to do that since we don't have spatial you know uh, coordinates or stuff like that and we have a lot of countries to uh, to cover okay so uh, or you can go and create a Python script so what is Python Python is actually here's the logo of Python and by, by the way you can use Python with most of the GIS softwares and it is actually the top programming language right now so it is very useful to learn it and if you guys are interested into uh, you know Python and you want some uh, tutorials or even a training uh, let me know below in the comments again uh, if you're interested and I'll be happy to create this uh, for you and so in our case here I've created this really uh, small script that I call table extractor what does this uh, do it go to this page which is the worldometers.info coronavirus that's the page that I was showing you and extract that uh, table and save it as a CSV file inside this uh, you know directory in here so in case if you are uh, going to uh, download this one or copy this uh, these few lines and create your uh, Python script make sure to change this to your local uh, I mean folder where you wanna uh, save that file okay so let's go and run this, run it, and we have, we need to wait here uh, for a moment, and we have that done, which means that everything is done. Now, if we go to that folder, you'll notice that we have 
uh, an Excel uh, sheet now or a CSV file that that is named output and it shows all of these different info that we've extracted from that web page. Now the only issue that it looks a little bit messy so we need to uh, work around this and try to fix it and of course it's still even if it takes a few moments but it's still better than copy and paste all of these numbers okay let's go and now delete all of these uh, rows because they are actually showing the statistics of the different you know continents that we don't need okay we need only the countries for the moment let's go and delete that and let's me let me go and change this to I don't know uh, header for example and as we can see that we have actually uh, they are actually comma separated values so let me go and select uh, this and go to uh, data and columns and then set the delimited to delimiter to be comma and I click next and finish and that looks uh, good that's starting to look good as you can see so these are the tests so I, th I think that we don't need these so let's go and delete them and we have the tests and the deaths and the population and stuff like that so another thing that you will notice is that we have some empty lines so we need to find a way to delete them automatically okay so we so let's go and select this first column and go to the home page and tell the software hey Excel please go to special here I want you to select in this row I mean in this column only the blanks okay now they are selected now Excel please see the selected I want you to delete the rows so we are going to delete the rows and there you go we have a really good looking Excel or table that we can use just one more thing to do here let's go and uh, find replace and we want to replace the uh, wait a second for uh, here so I want to go to this one and just name it country we don't need that other thing okay let's go to here and replace the comma with a point with a point and replace you know I've done this because I want to save this as a comma separator so we don't want the decimals to be separated by a comma and the columns separated by the comma so that's gonna be uh, messy okay so let's go and uh, save this and I'm gonna save it as comma delimited and let's call this for example uh, database that's the database save yes and close this don't save and we have that database right here now let's go to QGIS and go to layer and we are going to be importing the add layer and add a text delimited layer okay now we've added the text delimited layer and we are going to import the uh, that file from here which is the database and you can go to uh, it's already uh, looking fine here and usually what we do is we import a, uh, a table that got some X and Y so we don't have that X and Y coordinates that's the second problem that we need to try to solve so it's actually a no geometry table. we just want to import that as a table okay so we have all of these informations the country and stuff like that let's go and add this so we added the database but we can't see anything so we need to see these information in relationship with some spatial data we need something that shows up in here so in the first video or I think the second video that we posted in this channel uh, in which we cover the basics of QJS I've shown you a trick that allows you to view the world map inside QGIS as a shape file as polygons by just typing world there you go now we have that map so we need to find a way to link these uh, this information in here to the world map okay and do some sort of visualization so if you go to the uh, attribute field attribute table of this shape file 
You will notice that we have different informations, but what we care about the most is actually this column. So in this column we have the different countries. So we have China and everything. So we have the name of the countries in this column, which, which is called uh, this thing, server stuff. Okay? So now what we need to do is to join these based on the column. So to do that, we right a click and go to properties and then go to joins and click on the plus sign and we want to join that database table to this map so what is the join field what is the field that's gonna be the reference for uh, for that shape file so it's gonna be the country so we have all the different countries in this column so what is the target field what is the field that have the same names inside of it but inside the shape file as you recall it was called this sov sover stuff okay and now we have your custom field name prefix uh, that's see these new uh, columns that's going to be added to the shape file they're going to have this uh, prefix or you can check that and delete this but we're going to leave it to know what are the information that have been added to our uh, shape file so leave it as like database and uh, dash click on OK and click on OK and there you go now if we go to the world map right a click and go to the attribute table we've got these from the beginning and you can see that for example this one Belgium and if we go to here you can see we're going 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 and there you go. You can see now we have some additional columns that start with database. Now, database header, that was just that one, two, three thing. So you, you can delete that. And now we have the total cases. So the total cases for uh, Belgium here is this number. Okay. So there you go. It's actually working. Now, if we take a look, for example, at India you'll see that for the moment because India got a lot of I think that five million cases we need to have like some that five million here to know that we are doing the right thing here you go so you can see that India we have five million for a uh, thing so let's go to a database total cases and you can see that we have that five million four hundred thing that five million four hundred and so this means that this is actually working now we're sure that that's actually working now let's go and display these data here to do that we go to layer styling if you don't have this one here you can go to a layer a view uh, panels and check this layer styling so for the moment it's telling us this is uh, a single symbol so a single symbol which means that we're gonna have this color all over the different polygons but we don't need that we need that to be categorized but based on what we need it to be based on a column which is in our case going to be the total cases okay now we have that total cases and we need this spectral for example and let's go and classify now you can see that we have if the value is one and so on going to the five million we have all the different colors in here okay now uh, you will notice that because uh, it was uh, we have two commas we have two points that uh, that were separated by the way these are for the moment are read as text but we can change this with using the field calculator you go to table and go to here modify that and use the field calculator here to calculate uh, a new value based on that so you turn that uh, text uh, column into integer or uh, a real number and then you got the real numbers or you can do that inside Excel uh, very easily so you just go to Excel uh, you go to database for example here and you select because you don't you don't need these points you can go and 
uh, replace and you replace the points with nothing replace and now you will have these numbers that will show correctly inside uh, QGIS okay so uh, I forgot to do that but there you go how to do it so you don't get these uh, you know these values that show 14.9 which is actually 14,000 so 141 is going to look like it is more than this while this one is actually more so that's exactly how to do it and now you can see all the different attributes inside uh, all the different values for different countries and you can even go further and display the numbers let's go to this one and choose for example uh, that total death and we're gonna get the numbers showing here and let's set the text to 2 for example so you can zoom in or maybe let's set that to 5 or 6 or you, you play around with this one you can add a, a buffer there and you got the different values and that's exactly how it works so uh, I said that I'm gonna be doing an announcement in the end so we have actually two things we are going to start posting some articles we're going to start a, a blog and that's gonna be uh, you're gonna find the link below maybe at some point and we're gonna be posting blogs so uh, there are actually written tutorial and really written things related to geology mining and stuff like that so that's going to be useful a lot of few people have requested that and another thing is that if you're watching this i'm sure that you're interested into gis and uh qjs maybe so we're actually launching a course that's going to be uh covering the basics of qgis going to the most advanced stuff using some real life uh, real life uh, case studies like this one for example some uh, show you how to apply the software into uh, you know uh, your job as a mining engineer or as a geologist or or as a GIS a specialist uh, using some you know uh, like I said uh, real case studies that uh, that are actually based on my experience how I use QGIS to do a lot of things so the link is going to be in the description not when i launch this video but when the training is going to be available so make sure to check that out as soon as possible because it's going to have a huge promo when we launched when we launched it uh so um i think that's it also if you're interested in uh cartography we have a surfer training you can check out the uh link in the description below Follow us on Facebook, subscribe to YouTube, check out our website and our blog that's going to be coming soon. And see you in another very exciting and very informative tutorial here on YouTube.